In today's tutorial, we'll show you an easy way to make cotton ball stems, chestnut boxes, and cotton wool. We'll need some chestnut boxes, three of them for a stem, a selection of twigs, remove the seeds and put the cupules on the baking sheet. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. The cupules are stone hard and shrunk slightly. With sandpaper, remove the spikes and polish the cupule petals. Next, we're going to paint the petals with dark gold. We want a rich coating. It doesn't have to be even though. Let them dry for about half an hour. We are going to use a hot glue gun to assemble the petals into a sepal. Apply some hot glue onto the edge of the petal and press the other petal tightly. Wait for five seconds until the glue cools down. Attach the third petal. Repeat the same steps with the rest of the chestnut cupules. The sepals are ready to be filled with cotton. Cut around six inches of string. Tear the cotton wool into two square pads. Layer them and puff slightly. Tie them up in a crisscrossing manner. Trim the ends of the craft string and shape the cotton, puffing and slightly pressing the petals to the center. Dab some glue onto the bottom of the sepal and fit in the cotton pod. Make two smaller cotton pods the same way. Now, time to attach the cotton pods to the twig. Squeeze some hot glue onto the cut side of the twig and press the cotton flower to it. Glue and attach the second one and then the smallest cotton pod for a complete composition. Time for the finishing touch. Add a touch of gold to the stem. Let the patches of the natural color bark show through. The handmade cotton flowers look just like the natural ones and will make for a stylish and lasting floral interior decoration. Just put the cotton ball branches into a glass or ceramic vase. Find more original home craft ideas on our channel. Subscribe and leave your comments.